This is some never before seen tornado and extreme wind footage, starting out with scene number one. This is actually my first tornado. The August 24th, 2016 event was not my first, as some people might know. Uh, but this was an extraordinary event with a major tornado outbreak over the Southern Great Lakes on November 17th, 2013. The most notable tornado of this outbreak was probably the Washington, Illinois tornado, which was rated high NDF for and was very, very damaging. But here we had not one, but two tornadoes. And unfortunately for me and for anyone else who was trying to spot and chase the tornadoes, they were very much rain wrapped, which is why you can't see much in this original clip, but I just thought I would include it just because we're reviewing. Now I'm going to enhance the contrast, and as you can see, this is enhanced very much, but uh, I hope you can see it better. You can see the curtains more. Now look to the right side of the screen. Those rain curtains, the motion that you're seeing, that is actually the tornado. And I know that it's still kind of hard to see, but it was very rain wrapped. Um, the forward speed on this was 70 miles an hour. And because it was moving so fast and so rain wrapped, I had no idea what I was looking at. Which is why I didn't know at all that there was a tornado coming so close to our spotting location, which was less than a quarter mile from us, and was moving so very fast, which is why we had to make an intense escape to shelter. Uh oh. Get it. Come on up to the hospital. What? A brief view of the back side of the tornado. Because this was all I had at the time, the next two scenes are standard definition VHS, but this is extreme 100 mile an hour winds tearing down trees. This one is a bit hard to see, but there are several power flashes and ominous roar. And finally, we see the tornado sweeping by. I'll show the original clip first, and then a contrast enhanced version.
Now here's a time-lapse clip so you can better visualize the motion of what's going on in this tornado as it moved by in the location of the camera and contrast enhanced. The tornado outbreak of November 17, 2013 resulted in 73 confirmed tornadoes across multiple states in the Midwest and the Great Lakes. The event caused $1.6 billion in damage and took the lives of 11 people, 8 from tornadoes. And unfortunately, most of these were in Illinois associated with the violent tornadoes that struck over there. No fate holidays in Indiana, but it was the second worst tornado outbreak in Indiana history that we experienced. Kokomo, Indiana suffered extensive damage from the two EF2 tornadoes with winds up to 130 miles an hour, but they also had extreme straight line wind damage. One Muzzle's net station that was near or within the city actually measured a wind gust of 109 miles per hour as the tornadoes passed by, although the maximum damage, of course, was found to be consistent with winds of up to 130 miles an hour, thus an EF2 rating on the enhanced Fujita scale. It was the most significant tornado event in the city since the 1965 F4 tornado, and thankfully there were no fatalities, but it required several months of cleanup as we headed into the winter time. Of course, no one could have predicted that an even bigger tornado disaster would strike less than three years later. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, even though it was fairly low quality video. I will get better videos in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned as we head into the storm season of 2018.